Tim Anderson, director of the Center for Counter Hegemonic Studies, joins us. Uh, the accusations uh, that the U.S. has leveled against Iran to justify the sanctions, which have been um, really uh, in, in a very big respect humanitarian uh, sanctions, because they are leading to uh, the deaths of people who are under uh, who are suffering under this pandemic. Um, is something that uh, should be illegal, um, even though the U.S. says that humanitarian-related uh, sanctions are not in place. Um, we, we're witnessing this firsthand in, in, in Iran that uh, it is affecting uh, hospitals and the health of uh, Iranians. Uh, what, what, uh, what can be done to stop the U.S. Uh, from exercising such severe sanctions? And Iran is not the only uh, country suffering from it. Yes, it's been a very deliberate act by the U.S. to take advantage of the opportunity of the pandemic to try and hurt the Iranian people more. There's a recent report from the U.S., from the Brookings Institute, which says, and I quote, that had sanctions eased when the pandemic hit, thousands of Iranian lives could have been saved. So this is what the Americans themselves are saying. They know very well that it's a deliberate criminal act by the Washington administration to try and... Uh, enhance its policy of what, what it calls maximum pressure. It's a criminal act. Um, in the short term, of course, it's causing tremendous pain. And we know that the second wave of, of uh, infections has been very powerful in Iran. But in the longer term or the medium term, let's say, it is forcing a restructuring of international relations. Uh, when you take a look at uh, sanctions as a whole, uh, you have on the one hand uh, the a detrimental effect that it has on countries like Iran in terms of, again, the health sector. Um, on the other hand, you have the efficiency of sanctions. Uh, the batting average is said to be not even 4 percent, I think 3.6 percent based on various studies. Uh, so it's not like sanctions are really achieving what the U.S. wants. Why do you think they continue with this? They are trying, they are waging a type of war on the Iranian nation, trying to uh, cripple and, and drive the people to desperation, as they've said in other cases where they've imposed these unilateral coercive measures. I think we should really get rid of the, the word sanctions. It suggests there's some sort of judicious idea behind it or there's some sort of punishment based on wrongdoing. They are unilateral coercive actions which are illegal in several respects, one of which they are intended to cause pain. We know the Secretary of State, Pompeo, made a statement some months back about if the Iranian people wanted to eat, they'd change their government. So um, these are illegal actions, and they are done with the aim of trying to cripple the nation, trying to make it submit to the US uh, hegemonic plans in the region. Of, of course, that is a failing project, but in the failing project, the US has been extremely vindictive, as we've seen, not just in Iran, but of course in Iraq and Syria and uh, other parts of the region. Thank you very much for that. Tim Anderson, director of the Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies from Sydney.